Hi, I'm back. Um, I hope you watched part one of this video. If not, um, I'll link it in the description. But hello, um, I'm Rabbit and my pronouns are they, them. And in case you haven't, um, you know, seen the other video, whatever, let's just start. I'm doing another doll update. So the first doll I want to show you guys is Claire. Yeah, so um, basically, if, you, if you're a fan of Monster High and you've seen Ghoul's Rule, you'll know that Monster High made like um, a, a goth human character named Claire that everyone, myself included, fell in love with, I think. Um, but then they never made a doll of her, which was like, what? Um, and I just, I, I just, I don't know, I was like, there needs to exist a doll of Claire. So that's where this comes in, woohoo! Um, so I made her out of a Draculaura doll. Um, I didn't give her pants because in the canonical ghouls rule, Claire wears like little Bermuda shorts, like denim Bermuda shorts, like camp counselor shorts. And I'm like, what goth is wearing camp counselor denim shorts as a, like it made no sense. So that's why I um, just was like, no, screw it. You're wearing a long sweater of like the sweater that you wore in the movie and then just like long socks. I know her shoes are supposed to be red, but I don't really care. Um, I also made these little fishnet gloves out of tulle, which I was really excited about. And her sweater is made out of a sock. Um, basically, I just cut it up and turned it into a sweater and then um, fabric printed on like a printable sheet um, this little skull pattern and then stitched it on. And then I added um, ribbon down the arms so to give that stripe effect and, and um, I'm really happy with how she turned out. Um, yeah. So that's Claire. Um, next is Candy. is Candy. Um, so Candy is the first clown doll I've made so far. Her base is a Laguna um, and I think that she looks kind of sad and adorable and I just like really like it. There's these pink and blue socks and then her onesie is mismatched pink and blue um, and then her hair is mismatched pink and blue and so is her clown makeup and stuff which you can see under the... I made her a little like kind of masquerade mask or I didn't make it I just painted one that I had um, to look cooler. Um, I made her this little hat out of paper um, and some just different crafty things. I made her little ruffles to go around all of her limbs and her hair has ribbons in it. And Candy is a Pisces and Candy's trans and she's a lesbian and she is uh, Stitch's be uh, best friend and Stitch's I will show soon. Basically I really really like Candy and I think they turned out great. So after Candy I was like on a little clown frenzy so I decided to make Stitch's. <laughs>
And this is Stitches the Clown. Um, they're originally a like mermaid Torlai kind of doll. And they're kind of like Tim Burton-y, um, Beetlejuice-y. They are non-binary and queer. And I painted like their whole neck and their tail to be this black and white stripe as well as their little um, umbrella, cocktail umbrella that I repainted and um, this little hat. Their skirt is this little suspender kind of moment. Um, and then I gave them another little skirt like at the midsection of their tail because um, with the paint chipping I didn't want that to be super noticeable if um, that happened so they had like a little kind of thing to cover that up. Um, I really am stoked on their little ruffles that I gave around the wrists and the collar and these little pom-poms so yeah they also have little buttons to, um, to hold up their suspenders. Stitches is an Aries and they are best friends with Candy so there we go. Next is Meadow. <laughs> Meadow. They're like a really soft pastel person. Meadow was originally a Mercedes. Um, they are cancer, they are gender fluid, and identify as queer. Um, they are the cousin of like all of my different kind of animal based dolls, Fauna and Alice and Blossom. <laughs> um, they're this like really cute mouse with with like a little pink ribbon in their hair and lots of blush and white freckles and white lashes and green eyes with um, little heart-shaped shiny reflections in their eyes which I was really excited about. Um, their little sweater um, can button up fully um, or it can just be open and underneath they're wearing like a little pink tube top with a little pink lace skirt and these bloomers that I made for them. Then they have mint green socks with little bows and I just think they're really cute. Um, they were just like a little fun, fast project and they turned out pretty good. Next is Luna. <laughs> This is Luna. They're originally a Spectre doll. You can tell from their like clear hands and feet. They're a Scorp or she's a Scorpio. She's cis. She's a lesbian. I really like the concept of like moon and star gods and goddesses and deities and stuff. So I wanted to kind of I don't know if you've seen my costume video, you'll know I made this like moon dress um, for myself kind of, and I wanted to kind of model it off that a little bit. So it has um, lots of little star sequins all around it, and it's like velvety and blue at the top and i gave her lots of little bracelets and necklaces she has this um, pearly headband and lots of stars um, interwoven in her hair um, she has pearls on her face and like in the center of her moon thing um, the back of her dress is tied up with a ribbon and there's like a little moon charm and the last doll that i will show you guys my most recent creation that i really 
really love is sage. is an Aquarius. They are trans and they're bi. They're Artemis's best friend and um, basically I'd seen a lot of repaints of Avia Trotter dolls that were kind of white and purple and I was like that's so pretty I want to like make one of my own and lots of them had like fur and stuff so I incorporated some fur that I had held on to for so long without ever using like literally like years and years and years and then I finally had a use for it which was um, making this kind of like cool centauri creature person thing. <laughs> um, I'm really excited for them. I uh, dipped their hands in enamel paint that's like silver and it's still a little sticky but it's really cool and reflective. Um, they have green eyes and a septum piercing and a snake bite piercings. I gave them like a really pearly bra that I think looks really pretty and I just repainted their original um, kind of harnessy saddle-y thing um, to be more cool and silver. Then I gave them lots of silver chain jewelry like on their wrist and around their neck and on their back huff. Um, also on their bum I like painted these or I put these little um, purpley stars on both sides so it's kind of like the the cutie marks or whatever that uh, My Little Ponies have. In their hair I put a lot of beads and stuff and I did give them a little ear piercing as well. Um, I freaking love Sage. I think they turned out so pretty. Um, I'm really excited with them. I think that like by putting fur around all the joints, it's really gonna hide the paint chipping that's gonna happen with acrylic paints. And I think that's super duper. So that's Sage and they have these little silver hooves. So love me some Sage. Um, that's all I got you guys. If you watched this video, if you watched both videos, like, oh my goodness, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Um, I hope you and all your loved ones are doing well during the the pandemic and everything that's going on right now. Um, I, for one, am sending everyone a lot of love and a big virtual hug, and I hope you stay safe and healthy and wash your hands and wear a mask and do all the good stuff. So happy holidays and goodbye for now. Thanks again for watching.